looking ahead, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty scary road because you are going to be every year missing out on school, missing out on playing sports, missing out on doing just general kid stuff. I had to do occupational therapy, especially on my hands. I couldn't even roll off a bed to begin with and that wasn't great. When I first got burnt and I had to go back to school, like I thought, oh yes, I'm going to go back to all my friends. But once I went back, everyone was just looking at me. You feel very alone and it's not good to feel that way. It's okay to be scared, like it's honestly okay. The hardest part was actually the psychological stuff, like kind of registering what had happened. Just don't be afraid to ask questions, there's no, no such thing as a silly question. It's really good to celebrate the little victories. People are going to judge you, but you judge yourself the most. They didn't make fun of me or anything, they were just, they just wanted to see if I was okay. It was a few times I remember when I was probably 12, 13, you know, going through that kind of identity crisis, what am I going to look like, that kind of thing, uh, where I had a couple of splints on. Generally, little children ask you. There were definitely lots of times, especially in the first couple of years, where I felt really self-conscious in public. My dad just came and grabbed me and said, what are you worried about? They're looking at you because, you know, you're different. They've probably never seen someone who's been burned. It makes you feel so much better to know there's other people out there that have scars and have been through the same sort of stuff as you. There are a couple of times when I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this or I'm not going to be able to do that. It didn't hold me back playing football, it didn't hold me back at school, it hasn't held me back through anything else, I just did it. Once they've healed, you can just, it's just skin, you can do anything anyone else can do. It's skin deep at the end of the day, like it's, it's skin deep, it's not a big deal. Um, people don't even really realise sometimes because I'm just so out there and just doing my own thing, they don't even really sometimes pick up that I am um, burnt. Even though this sounds silly, um, and I would have hated myself for saying this, it will get better. Like, you're annoyed at yourself and anyone who says that to you, you're not going to believe them. If you do the exercises and you, and you do the stuff properly, you'll see fantastic results. And also, moisturiser and sunscreen are your friend. <laughs> you have those times where you're like, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, you're going to need all the support you can get. You know, you don't think that you'll ever go back to this, this, this normal state, but it, it really does. Like, people... Uh, if anything, look at you in a different, more respectable light, like you've just, you know, you're a, you're a survivor, you're a, you're a warrior, you're a fighter.